here it is. This is Ingersby or Fernby Tunnel. It's between Ingersby and Fernby. 516 yards long. Um, there is a shaft in there. We'll get to see that. And then about 150 yards later on, it is infilled. In 1882, the Great Northern and London North Western Railway opened a 10 mile line which linked Leicester and came down south from Melton Mowbray. It was created a new terminus at Belgrave Road. The line opened for goods traffic on the 2nd of October 1882 and for passengers on the 2nd of July in 1883. Now if we zoom into this map, we'll find that there is a tunnel and it was a notable structure of 516 yards in length which is 471 metres between Ingersby and the village of Fernby. The line later closed in 1964. So let's get ourselves down there and have a look inside. So immediately inside the portal, look, we've got that great big sheet of, it's like a corrugated steel with all the little battles and little bits of mesh in there. You can see the way we've come in and little bits of ballast at the entrance, look amongst all the rubbish cans and trash. Nice to see a little bit of it. Quite heavily graffitied on the left and similarly on the right hand side as well. No sign of any refuges as yet. I think there's a shaft in this one as well. It's brick look, brick from bottom over the top down the other side. And there's a cute little bumblebee. So first refuge is on the left. There's an amazing echo in here. I suppose it's because the sound can't get out where the steel entrance is. And there's a mound of rubbish that's been scooped into here. Look, great big hump. Uh, still quite a bit of graffiti here. We've not gone far in yet. But it's just basic stuff, look. Names, words, dates. 1992 is the oldest date I've seen so far. Refuge number two is on the right. Refuge number four there, got 1998 written inside there, so 22 years ago. And the other side, you can just slightly make out track indentations, which is remarkable. Given how long this has been closed. Refuge number five immediately on the left. So here's the first row of uh, cable carrying brackets we've seen. Looks like they're going to go quite a long way along. We'll keep taking note of where they go. Oh, I've just had a big insect land on my own. So refuge number six is on the right there. There is a shaft in here somewhere. I think I can see it coming. And in the very, very distance, don't know if the torch will pick it out yet. If I stand still, you might just be able to see. So the shaft's about there and the infill is further beyond that. Refuge. Number seven on the left, and I can see number eight coming on the right, just there. So at recess number nine, immediately after that we've got this absolutely massive one, it's like double the width, uh, it's a flat back wall, 150 yards um, to the end according to that. So there it is, look there's the shaft, you can see the metal grill at the top and I can see trees above that. Amazingly I can still hear my voice echoing down at the other end. 
nice little branch just there look you see the edging just there look as well let me take it down a notch i just seen a bat go past the camera did you see that just flew right over the camera and underneath the shaft yeah so you've got a rim of bricks there look, as well around the edge Look at that, 1998, 1st of July. Uh, yeah, hi, whoever you are. We've come down here following in your footsteps. Um, I hope you're still, you know, doing this kind of thing between you, whoever you are. So we've still got the hooks and brackets, look. I don't think they've ever left us, to be honest. We're gonna come up to a refuge here, and I just like the way that um, they curve over the top, look. Obviously, they've got to. We're getting very close to the infield section there uh, that'll be the dead end for our journey along this little tunnel right there you go there's the infill end look uh, there's me as well still in the shadow you see that bit on the roof there that light yellow now from a distance it looks like there's light coming through well there isn't light coming through because it's dark outside but it gives the you know the idea that light is there and it's creeping through but it's just totally blocked off there is absolutely no way through there not like at mapley where you can crawl it this is the dead end and the portal is buried and gone I got quite a big chunk missing out of this one look it looks like it's it's like it's been cut out it's absolutely perfect the way it's been done it looks like the bits are all strewn across the ground there Right, back outside now. So what we're thinking of doing is trying to get up top. We're going to see if we can find that shaft and have a look at it from up there and see if there's not enough trees, we'll get the drone above it. So what we're going to do is scramble up here and we'll get ourselves up top. Come on. So look, we're on top. Let's go over here a bit. When we get so far across, look. That's the view back down to the former track bed, heading off towards Leicester. Uh, right, we're gonna scramble a little further up now to the top and go shaft hunting. Mm -hmm. 
So there we go, there's the shaft, we found the shaft. Now if you think when we was inside, how tall the shaft was from the inside, yet there's only maybe 10, 12 feet here. That means we're a considerable height above the actual track bed floor down there. Uh, on both sides, we've got these peculiar, these rings lot in the brickwork. What would they have been for, anyone know? It's got a brick base as well at the bottom, just here. Now, anything like that, I'd have assumed was to tie an animal to or something, but I can't think why on earth you'd want to do that. And there's one on the other side as well somewhere. There it is. With these two braces. I think that's what they are. And there's the ring. Right, before the tunnel entrance, we walked along the track bed a little bit and we saw what used to be an old little aqueduct. And it is somewhere through here. So we're going to see if we can get in and have a little look at it. Bit of uh, blue brickwork there then, look. And if we go a little bit down here, look at the size of that hole, that corrosion. It's got like a latticey kind of top to it. So this used to be an aqueduct and it would carry a stream or a brook. If I crawl a little bit, track bed somewhere down there, look. So that's where the brick uh, finishes and the, I suppose it's iron, um, on both sides, look. It's still black on that side. Right, let's get out.